I think a lot of times people think that when you make YouTube videos, you must be the most confident person in the world, and I definitely have not felt that way. There are stains on your photo. I remember this first person I told that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. She said, why would you do that? You have a secure job. And I said, well, it's just a vision that I've had and I know that I really want to do it. And she said, well, what is it going to be about anyway? And I said, it's going to be about nutrition and recipes and minimalism and topics that I like. And she said, don't people already do that? How are you going to make money doing this? And that kind of stumped me. I didn't know if this was going to be a secure career. I think I remember walking away from that conversation feeling a little bit discouraged. Discouraged to tell anybody else because I knew I was going to be met with the same kind of skepticism. But I think at the beginning I was kind of stubborn. So I started it off, I'm going to do this and I know it's going to be great. My name is Sadia, I used to be a dietitian but now I'm a content creator for a YouTube channel and a blog called Pick Up Limes. I started actually creating a blog just for fun in about 2013 and I had a friend who was a web developer so he actually helped me create the website but in a one or two year period I maybe got four or five recipes on the blog. At the end of 2016 is when I moved to the Netherlands and that's when I started to take it a little bit more seriously that I wanted to start Pickup Limes. January of 2017 is the first time I uploaded a YouTube video. In my head, it's me and you. Starting something like a YouTube channel, it was so out of the ordinary. It wasn't something I think I would have had enough courage to just do, especially because I was all the time wondering what are people going to think? What are my friends and family going to think of somebody working as a dietitian now becoming a YouTuber? The first few months I was actually too nervous to share it with anybody so I was creating these videos but I was keeping them to myself until I kind of had a substantial amount of things to share and then I put it out there. I was really really nervous about what the feedback was going to be. I worked for about 10 years towards being able to apply to medical school. The day that Pickup Limes reached 100,000 subscribers was the day I got my medical school acceptance letter and that day I remember I broke down crying. But actually not of happiness. It was because I was at this crossroads in life. I didn't know which path was the right path. I was like, there's potential here and I can't give that up. I can always go back, I can always reapply, but I need to try this. I need to know that I've at least given it a shot. It went from 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers in two and a half weeks. And it went from 100,000 subscribers to 500,000 subscribers in about three months. I think food is one of the most natural ways that we can do ourselves good. I'm slipping away. It's a way that we bond with other people. And so I've always wanted to be able to share that through the Pickup Lines recipes. I'm all, up in a love all of our recipes we create from scratch here at the studio. There's a lot of experimenting that goes into it, but that's the creative part and that's the fun part. I'm safe. Making a recipe is probably one of my favorite things to do. Once you know what you want to create, then it's always off to the market to try to find the different ingredients that you might need. We'll bring it over to the studio and the preparation begins. We begin the process of chopping vegetables. We just start preparing the meal. The best part is how we present the food. We have different kinds of cloths and bowls and plates and cups and cutlery standing on tables to get the perfect kind of angles. And for me, it's like a form of art. Come on. It's always so rewarding when you create a dish and then to be able to share that with people and to see them make it in their own kitchens at home. Pickup limes grew incredibly fast. I'm very happy for that growth, but with that kind of growth comes a lot of expectations that you place on yourself, but also a lot of pressure. Probably about a year into creating content, the self-doubt became more. During that time, I started to kind of question if this is actually the path I wanted to go down. I was living in a new country. I was away from the comforts of home and friends and family. I think it was during that time where I was like, am I sure that this is what I want to do? And I remember distinctly sitting on the couch at home and looking up flights to go back home and just saying, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just going to go back to the life that I had. I think one of the things that helped me kind of overcome that is just talking to my partner about it. He just helped me realize that this is kind of what comes with the job description. There were days where I remember I would upload a video and it got to 30 views and I was like, yep, that was a day's work. You see these other YouTubers who have thousands of views, millions of views, and you think, I'm never gonna get there. YouTube's already saturated, why should I even start? A mentor of mine told me that if you're proud of the earliest material that you put out there, you waited too long. That was kind of that piece of information I needed to hear to know that like, I've just gotta get started and you're going to learn along the way. The only way to make that doubt go away is to just start. 
I'm Sadia from Pickup Limes, and in January of 2017, I took the leap. 